Hello children. How are you doing? Fine. Very good. Children, today in EVS, we will study chapter 8, Reaching Grandmother's House. In this video, we will do the first part of the chapter of Reaching Grandmother's House. From this video, you will learn about the different means of land transport and the different vehicles used for land transport. You will also be able to identify the vehicles which are used for very long distances and which are used for short distances. You will understand the different paths of a train, what are they called and you will be able to read and understand a train ticket. Let's have a quick recap of our past journey through the Western Ghats in the Konkan Railway. The engine used in this route is usually a diesel engine as there is no electrical cable through the Western Ghats in the Konkan Railway. Yes, the exotic views of the Konkan Railways. You can see children, how beautiful the scenery is. It is the best scenery possible in any railways. Through the western guards, inside into the tunnels, lot of waterfalls around. It's an awesome view, awesome. You can see the steel mesh on the stones, children. This is the view you will see all around the Konkan Railways. They have tied all the hills and mountains with steel mesh so that not a single stone falls down and creates a landslide. This is the most common view of the Konkan Railways. Inside the train, you can see children, the TTE gentleman in a black coat is there to check everyone's ticket. He's also seeing whether the person is having an ID card or not and is sitting in his proper seat or not. Finally, Omana's train reaches Kuttayam. Kottayam is a town in Kerala where Omana's Valiamma lives. Who is Valiamma children? Omana's mother's elder sister or we can call her Masiji. This is the biggest town where a train comes. So now everyone of Omana's family will get down at Kottayam station. Today is 17th May and 11.30 at night. We can call it 11.30 p.m. After a long journey, we reached Kottayam in the night. Valiamma's house was not far from the station and we had to take two auto rickshaws to get there. By then I was very sleepy and did not even wait to eat anything. I took a bath and slept. I thought I had just fallen asleep when Amma woke me again. Omana got down from the train and along with her family members, she came out of the Kottayam railway station platform. Then they hired two autos to go to Valiamma's home in the town of Kottayam in Kerala. While going through the auto, 
Mana and her family members could feel Kerala. The backwaters all around, the cool breeze blowing, the coconut trees, the palm trees, the green, green Kerala. Kerala is rightly said as God's own country. On the way, Omana could also see the sea beach at Kuttayam. So she was thinking, Kuttayam has sea beach, sea on one side and backwaters on the other side. What a, what a place! How it is different from her Gandhidam. On her way to her Valiyamma's house, Omana also saw the bus station of Kuttayam. It was the Kerala State Roadways Transport Corporation's bus station. Many people were waiting there just to go to long distances from Kuttayam. She also saw buses on the roads where people were plying. On the buses, they were overcrowded with so many people around. Finally, Omana reached her Valiyamma's house. It was a beautiful house with lot of greenery around, big space to run. She was so happy to see such a wonderful house in Kuttayam. Now, children, means of land transport. There are so many means by which you can travel on the land. Scooter, bike, van, bus, train, auto. Everything runs on the land. These are called Land Transport Vehicles Children, can you tell? Omana travelled by different kinds of transport after she got down from the train. Can you remember and write what these were? Yes, first she took an auto, then she reached her Valiyamma's home. And on which vehicles you have travelled, you can also write. Most of you have travelled on buses, metro, rickshaw, train, auto rickshaws. And nowadays, e-rickshaws are also available everywhere. So, you can write them in your book. Let's revise. What do you call Valiyamma in your language? Mossy or mother's elder sister. You can also call her aunt. Now question number two. Which one is used for small distance traveling? Train. Or auto? Yes, it's auto. Which place is Valiyamma's house situated in Kerala? Very good. The place is Kuttayam. In the picture, you can see two type of locomotives. Now you will ask me, what is a locomotive? Locomotive is an engine which let's makes the train move now on the left hand side is a diesel locomotive which runs on diesel and on the right side is an electric locomotive electric locomotive runs on electricity in the konkan railway all trains are Diesel locomotive driven trains. 
they are not electric locomotive driven okay children you can see in the picture these are the pictures of a level crossing now what is a level crossing in the previous lesson you saw that omana saw a level crossing level crossing is a place where the railway tracks and the roads meet now you can see in one image there is a barrier means there is a black and yellow rod to stop the people as the train is approaching and on the image in the left side you can see that there is no barrier so in india there are many small towns and places where very few people have started living around the railway tracks so such places have no barrier for the railways and you yourself have to be alert this is called a manless level crossing but in big towns where lot of people stay there barriers have been provided in the level crossing and these are manned level crossing where there is a person who moves a machine to put the barrier when the train approaches you can see children a train is stationed in a platform now this is a train whose coach number is s5 you can see it's written s5 any bogey is called a coach a coach has 72 seats and you can see the windows are open the air goes in such a compartment is called a sleeper compartment and the class is called sleeper class in this slide children you can see there are two trains the first train has a coach which is painted blue and it is written b1 the windows are having glasses and inside there are curtains it means it is an air conditioned compartment and it is a three tier compartment coach b1 on the right side you can see it's written ac two tier coach it also has glass windows and it is also an air conditioned compartment and it is called a1 you can see inside a compartment there are six berths and in another compartment there are four berths berth is a place which is allotted to one person now in a three tier compartment you have six berths three on one side and three on the other side whereas in a two tier compartment there are two berths on one side and two berths on the other side so now you understand the difference between three tier and two tier and what is a berth berth is the individual place which is allotted to a person now children we will see a small video issued by the indian railways on how to read the train ticket see it nicely after that we will have an activity to see how many of you have learned to read a ticket okay
Did, did you enjoy the video, children? Was it nice? Yes. So now let's do an activity. I'll show you a ticket and you will find out the details from it. Okay. This is a railway ticket. Look at the ticket and write the following. The train number, the date of start of journey, the birth and the coach number, the fare, that is the cost of the ticket and the distance to be traveled in kilometers. So children, today you like this video. You learned so many things. The different terminologies of the train, the coach, the birth, the tier, three tier, two tier, and so many things about the Konkan Railways. We will be coming soon with our next video in which you will learn how to read a train timetable. Till then, bye.